Hello everyone, and welcome back. Hi! <laughs> We're all so fucked. Okay, so, as you drag the two, drag the age. Two, mm. two dead uh, thugs around the corner, um, you think you've gotten away with it for now. Thank God for small miracles. Okay, we should find Arya. Please. Please. So Lyra's just gone. Yes, Lyra has disappeared. Look, Lyra knows what she's doing. Where did you leave her then? <laughs> Where did I leave? I, I left her in an alley, like, on the side Behind of the building. Behind the warehouse, yes. Yeah. Right, let's hope she's still there. You arrive back at the warehouse. Give me stealth checks again. Or at least those of you who are sneaking out into the alley, give me stealth checks. Some of you may choose not to do that, knowing full well that you have to make stealth checks. I mean, you say that as if there's a large party of people doing this, but <laughs> it's just two people. Might as well fucking try. Uh, look, you should roll stealth. No, that would have been great if I didn't have disadvantage. Oh. What were you saying, Helena? I'd... I was gonna say, is roll, roll stealth okay. while you're unconscious. I don't think I can do that. <laughs> yeah, you can't be stealthy while you're unconscious. You <laughs> manage to sneak across to the uh, alleyway without being noticed by the two guards who are standing in front of the door. Oh wow. wow. Good, good. Uh, as you enter the alleyway, you hear a slight whimpering noise. Oh, that'll be there. Where... Or me. <laughs> or Arya. Probably Vera. I don't think Arya whimpers. I think in Arya's case it would be more of a crow. Anyway. Move towards the source of the noise. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, you, you move into the alley and uh, a now visible uh, Arya is there. She doesn't look in a terribly comfortable position because she was invisible and you just sort of dumped her and ran. Um, I, ca I cast Cure Wounds on She's her. kind of sat a little bit in a puddle. Uh, yeah, and Lyra is sort of like nuzzling sort of the side of her, and sort of gives you a look that says, help. Yeah, I'm gonna cast Cure Wounds. Okay. Uh, I'll have a second level Cure Wounds. Cool. Aya, you gain 10 HP, and you are conscious again. Oh, oh that was shit. I finally awake. That was shit, uh, you, You're gonna you, be like, what the fuck happened? You feel your yeah, ribs I'm knit back together, as, slightly. As, 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 as she's waking up, can I just hold my finger to her lips? Oh, what, like, like, in a shushing? Yeah, thing. in a shushing yeah. manner. And to be like, do you know what happened to the others? Well, of course you don't. Of course you, I'm you, just like, you, what? You, he asked, I'm conscious! Vondal asks yeah, that anyway because he has no context. Well, yeah. And I'm just like, huh? <laughs> Can I just feel, I, I, legit, I legitimately turn to Vondal and I'm just like, of course she doesn't know what happened to the others. She's been unconscious! The others? How long has she been unconscious? Since the fight with Grimm? <sighs> Look. Excuse me, what's going on? <laughs> are you the, Grim, the are Grim and Kalars have gone missing. I don't know where they are. After what the fuck happened? Grim fought against the champion and, and won, and then they uh, people came to to grab them and, and said they wanted a meeting with the with the owner. And after that, I don't know. People came to kill you. I think. Oh my god. So I had to. I kind of maybe made you invisible and dropped you here. We need to. We need to move. Can they track them? Yes. <laughs> the two of you can try and work together and do so. Yes. But first things I'm first, you're like... going to need a trial. <laughs> oh yeah. Um. Well. I guess. Well, Aya doesn't have stuff. Can I give her my crossbow? Why didn't you bring my stuff with you, you asshole? Cause we, because we can't God, carry God. everyone's fucking stuff! Uh, okay. <sighs> Just take a fucking crossbow. Alright, I'll take the crossbow. Fine. You are now in possession of a crossbow. I want the longbow. It, if the time comes, I will give you some stats for it. It's All not right. like I ever use it. So I give you my crossbow and my 19 bolts. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> Ugh. So, so, yeah, I was gonna say, stay back. Many of them look like, right. I'm sorry, you've got no armor and you're, you're pretty beaten up. Look, I love still... her. I have my armor on. 
No, you don't. No, you oh. don't. Wait, no, no, no you leather. don't. No, you don't. Yeah, because we decided you... nobody was wearing armor. Oh, that's. Nope. They're not going to let you into a fighting ring wearing armor. That's dumb. Okay. No, you're dumb. Okay. Wow. Let you into a fighting ring wearing armor. Carry on. Okay. Well, I guess moving. Lyra and I will attempt to find something that will lead us to the others. Rob, how how do you go about this? this? Um. Because you have you have no idea they were they were still inside the last time I, anybody saw them. Well, I mean. I guess I'll like tell Lyra to have a sniff around and see if she smells anything. Smells them. Okay. Give me give me an extended perception check. So give me three perception checks. Uh me or Lyra. Uh as Lyra. Okay. Oh that's still our oh, no, <laughs> Look at us do that from twenties! What are teeth and girls? No tiefling girls. I really yeah. hope there's no tiefling women. Yeah, no, if, if, if I see a tiefling, I'm blasting her. Okay. <laughs> Don't say that, because right. now Maul's going to show up and we're going to fucking kill her. Um, <laughs> why would Maul be here? <laughs> because Ferris likes to fuck with us. Okay, because, because technically Lyra has advantage on all of those checks because they are involving smell, nice. um, I'm going to create a little bit of a scene here. Oh gosh. Um, gosh. Good golly gosh. Grim. Great, great googly moogly. Do you <laughs> do you carry a token with you? Like a sort of your trinket item? Uh yes. No uh, Grim. You're not oh, I sorry. I assume I would since I've been holding on to it lately. What what is your trinket item though? Uh it's the banner. Oh yes! Oh my God! Butter! Oh, shit. Grim, in your blindfolded, handcuffed state, you realize that you can reach into your back pocket, where it happens to be where you stowed oh, shit. the piece of the banner. You take it out of the back of your pocket mm. and you drop it. <gasps> Grim, you did something oh. smart. Ten minutes oh. later, <laughs> Lyra finds this. Shit! Oh shit! And with that, you are able to track them. Nice. Holy shit. Good. <laughs> Lovely. And that's what two, two, two nat twenties on extended perception check gets you. Indeed. <laughs> <laughs> nice one, Lyra. I love my wolf. She's great. Mm. Good wolf. Yep. It's good thing we've got her back. Cool. Pat pat. Yeah, and with that, uh, Lyra leads you to another warehouse, maybe five minutes walk away. Uh, and outside of this warehouse, uh, as you sort of pull up to the side of it, you notice this one This one is slightly different. This one seems to be made of both a combination of sort of stonework and metal. Um, exactly. And basically as you approach, you notice that um, this one, unlike the... Uh, the previous one is sort of it, it seems to be sort of closed up except for uh, a pair of I believe it's double doors to one side uh, let me just check the map if I have for it uh, yeah a pair of double doors to one side basically mm. and basically the the pathway to the double doors seems to be uh, it it seems to be completely unguarded. Like there's no there's no guards standing outside the entrance to it. Um, but from from Lyra's assessment, this is this is where they where they were taken. Okay. Okay. Is there any windows? Uh not on this side. No. Right, before we before we go anywhere, we have two options we have two options that I can see at this stage. Shock and awe or stealth. I mean I think stealth. We have no idea what we're walking into. And we are we are Arya is still quite wounded. Yes. And I am not 
I have been casting a lot of spells today already. Right, we should look for a window then. And yeah, can we like... Uh, you're look looking for a window, window, you say? Or any, yeah, anything that we can use to... Or like a, look any sort of entrance, or way to peek in. Um... So, pres yeah, presumably you're going to walk around the outside. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, then uh, you walk around the outside and there doesn't seem to be any ground floor windows. The only windows you find are on the far side on a second floor that seem to basically be sort of like roof lights into a uh, into a chamber below. Mm. Could I get up on it? Like, is it... Like a roof ish um, sort of. Scenario. You could perhaps climb up onto the uh, the roof, but it would be difficult for you to sort of aid your companions in doing so. Right, but I just want to get a look in those windows. Uh yeah, sure. Um basically yeah, you um give me give me an athletics check to climb up. Cool. Uh, yeah, you manage to sort of like uh, climb your way up with with aid of whatever you can get your hands on window ledges, uh, not window ledges. Sort of. <laughs> yeah. Um, I was gonna say window ledges. <laughs> you literally just those. What are they called? Um, well, you have a building that's quite clearly been built on two floors, but it's sort of got a a, a thing that runs around the outside of it. Uh, some sort of ledge. Ledge? Yeah, there's... <laughs> I mean, that's like the only you you Assassin's you... Creed the side of the building. Yeah, you Assassin's Creed the side of the building using ledges and whatever you can get your hands on until you get to the, the top. Protruding bricks. Uh, and, yeah, you look down and these are very, very grimy sort of window... Uh, ceiling windows, and they seem to lead into a room full of crates underneath you. Uh, it's very difficult to sort of make out anything other than there's mountains of crates in in that. It's a very large room as well. It, it uh, seems to span almost uh, like 130 feet. Right. Um, you'd you'd also if you were to try and enter through them, you'd struggle to get down. To the the floor because you're uh, probably more than like uh, twenty feet or so in the air. I mean, better fall, my dudes, but that's true. We have to all get up there. <sighs> yeah, we have to all get up there first. The I don't think Leo is going to be able to get up there. No, but I think it. I'd be more worried about you than Lyra. Good athlete. Acrobatics, though. Well, I don't know. Athletics. In, oh, oh, athletics. Okay. In the meantime, athletics. whilst you guys are exploring the building, the other two who were taken away, you guys have basically been... Uh, you've, you've been walked blindfolded to this location, taken through what sounds like several doors, and then uh, basically placed into a, uh, a very cold room where you've been unblindfolded, and you are literally in a... Uh, meat locker, like a, a chilled meat locker, uh, and yeah, basically they 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 leave you, they take your blindfolds off, but leave you handcuffed, and you are basically like locked in the room. Mm. You basically have like five minutes before this stuff that's happening now happens. Oh boy. Well, I guess the first first thing to do is test how sturdy the handcuffs are. Yeah. Um, give me sleight of sleight of hand with disadvantage. Uh, hmm. <laughs> hmm. Wow. Wow, that's actually decent. Grim, oh, yeah. you you struggle with yours. Uh, Kalaris, you actually manage to sort of like slip your hand out of the the loose rope binding. Oh shit. So, or my hand's completely free right now. Uh, yeah, like you can once your hand is free, you can sort of take the, take it off your other hand. Okay, can I help Grim get his off? Uh, sure. Yeah. Um, give me yeah, just give me another sleight of hand check this time with that disadvantage. Mm -hmm. 
Sorry, for me or Grim? For you. Because you're you're helping him. Okay. Yeah. No. Uh, no. You, it, his, his is quite clearly tied a lot tighter. Fuck. <laughs> he, won, he won, so they're just like, keep that one in check. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, more the fact that it's easier to tie it to his hands than to Kalaris's. Because uh. they they're obviously working with a small amount of rope, and because you've got bigger hands. I mean, are we actually... But is it actually stuck on something, or is it just my hands that are like... Your like hands together. are tied in front of you, so that you can't oh, okay. manipulate things easily. Mm. Um, I guess there's not much besides the locked door. Yeah, so... Uh, was... Yeah, basically I can... Uh, in just a moment, I can sort of... Sh in fact, actually, I'll, I'll drag you guys over, because this should work. Let's just kick the door. Um. <laughs> oh, it's very dark. Fuck out, guns blazing. Big doors. Okay. Uh, so yeah, Gr hey, Grim, and Grim and Kalaris, you should be able to see a room. The others, you should be able to see the outside of a building. Oh, yeah. there's some bushes over there. What a oh. nice room. Nice, very nice bushes. Um, okay. uh, yeah, the, the room you find yourselves in, Grim and Kalaris, uh, you... Uh, basically, the, the objects on the floor behind you are basically... Um, shelves with uh, basically like uh, smaller animal carcasses on and there's some animal carcasses hanging from the uh, roof above you and basically in the right hand corner of the room the one that you're uh, is basically to the to the north northeast of the map are two butcher's benches basically mm, okay there wouldn't happen to be any tools at the butcher's bench, right? No, yeah. they have all been removed. Look. Mm. Unfortunately. Um, um, are there... Sorry, wait, there's shelves. There's not, like, meat hooks, correct? There are some hanging from the ceiling. How high are they? Um, You could probably reach them if you jumped. If I lift Grim up, could he use it to rope? Fuck the... Like, y y do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh, wait. Do you want to? Do you want to try that? To rope. To um, to want... because they're they're pointed enough. I think, to try and sort of like works. cut through your your yeah. rope. Binding. Oh, that could work. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. Grim, I'm gonna hang you from the meat hook. <laughs> no, I was more. I was thinking you wanted to detach the meat hook or something. No, I don't. But think I that... was like, uh, yeah, you you can't do that because they're sort of they're riveted yeah. to the chain. Yeah. Yeah. No, I was thinking of helping okay. you get you know your hands untied. Let's let's try it. All right. Sure. You sort of you lift Grim up and hold him, and he works away at it. Give me a. Hmm. Give me a Dex check. Okay, you you spend a couple of minutes working away at it, and you're sort of you're starting to sort of get a bite in the rope by the time that sort of everybody else is looking around the outside. Okay, well, there's um, what I would like to try. Otherwise, is there like the the carcasses here? Is there like something that is like uh, is are they like skinned? Like are they or are they yeah, they're they're with... they're prepared basically. Okay. Could I find a like a leg of something and then like try and break the bone in the leg to create a sharp object? Um. <laughs> I, <laughs> yeah, I get. I guess you could. It would be. It would be a a really awful weapon, but sure. Could you not just use the leg of meat as like a as a club? <laughs> like a club with a pillow around it. <laughs> I mean it's like frozen meat, right? Yeah. It's not frozen. It's chilled. It's just cold. Chilled. It's just chilled. Yeah. They're not in like, like a fucking freezer. God, They're in an ice house. <laughs> oh um Kalaris, do you mm. have any healing power? Yeah, I was going to ask about that. This might be the time. Yeah, I was going to ask about that. Let's, um... Let's cat. Yeah. 
yeah, you know what, fuck it, I'll- Oh, Cure Wounds hasn't really done well for me. Fuck it, I'll cast Cure Wounds, um, on Grim. Uh, let's go! Yeah, yes. you can do that because your hands are free and you- Yeah, well, that wasn't the worst. Cool. Oh, Almost max! Fine. And not bad. Mm. Do you need more than that, Grim? Um, I'll be fine for now. Um, I was thinking, but can I use this sharp bone to like cut like cut my ropes entirely loose, or? Um, make me a make me a strength, just a a, a raw strength check, not a save. Okay. Uh, yeah, you sort of, like, you, you snap off a bone that's sort of, like, sharp enough and you just sort of, like, use it to sort of saw your way through. Okay. Your hands are free, oh, and so. you have a splintered piece of bone that is well, something shit. you could potentially use as a weapon. Shit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, like, shitty bone shank is what, is what like, I'm hearing. You've made a shiv, well done. You've made a prison shiv, well done. Wow, beautiful. Okay, question is... We're we're gonna have to surprise the person who comes in. Question is, how many people are gonna come in? I don't know, and I'm assuming the door locks from the outside. Yes, so you didn't actually check. Okay, it's a oh, it's dear. a meat locker. Having it lock on the inside would be kind of stupid. <laughs> <laughs> it's not it's not even a lock. It's sort of like a, just a bar that runs across from the outside. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Um, should we hmm, should in, we wait for them to come in, or should we try to break out, Grim? In the meantime, Arya, you've made your deductions. Okay. Well, I assume there's yeah, there's no windows in a meat locker. No. <laughs> no we we established this. <laughs> yeah. I was just double checking. Who knows? It would kind of defeat the point of this. having a sealed room that stays cold through convection. Well, some. Some do have it, but it's just less efficient. Yeah. I guess we'll move up to the door, like try. Yeah, you can. You can move yourselves in... around. Is is there a window in the door? That's an important question. No, it's just oh, a I big hunk of metal. Okay. <sighs> I guess I'll just let's just wait on either side. It's on the fucking tables. Yep. Okay. <laughs> Look. Okay, oh, it might God. be a bit awkward for you, but no, it's fine. Like it gets me at like neck heights. <laughs> I mean, you you can you can crouch sort of on top of them. Yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah. Okay. How about you? Okay. How about you grab the first person that comes in, and I'll try and backstab the second one whilst oh, they God. try and look at you. Oh, okay. Okay. We'll just. I guess we're just setting an ambush. Okay. Cool. What are the rest of you doing? You're, you're, by the way, on the opposite side of the building from this door, but I won't yeah. make you walk all the way around. Yeah. Well, I'm assuming that... Well, what's Aya doing up there? Aya's standing on a roof, looking down at some crates, at which point yeah. she makes I... the deduction of everything that I told her. Is there any other way inside? Like, maybe, like, a cellar or... I don't know. It doesn't look like it, now. <sighs> Alright, there we go. Should be fine. Um... I mean, do we see the main entrance? Well, uh, in front of it. the the double doors you see seem to be the only way in or out. It, it's um, it's not like a, a storage warehouse like the other ones. This one just seems to be a sort of a big warehouse style building. If I listen at the doors, can I hear anything? Give me a perception check. <laughs> you do not hear anything. I'm I gonna... very gently try the door. Uh, you push on the door, it is not locked. That's suspicious as hell. I mean, they don't expect anyone to be trying to go in, really. I'm not surprised. Except for the two people that they let loose. Who are still out there, trying to find their companions. They don't expect us to be able to track them to this one particular warehouse in a massive area that's full of warehouses. Still, we should be careful. Yeah. I don't want to repeat a... F literally, like... Half an hour ago. Come on, let's let's take a look inside. Cool. Uh, yeah, you push the double doors open. Oh, there you go. That's a good start. Uh, yeah, it it, se it seems to lead into just some sort of uh, entrance hall. Um, 
Then... Um, I don't know about you, but I can see it, dude. <laughs> yep, yeah, same. Same. Oh, yes, uh, I'll get to that in a minute. That door's open. Um, <laughs> yeah, basically, mm. uh, it leads into an entrance hall, and you notice that there are basically... There's two wooden racks either side of the entrance hall uh, that seem to be places for sort of workers to put their shoes. Um, and, like, sort of, uh, each, each thing is sort of divided into place to put your shoes, and then there's some, like, uh, uh almost like flip-flops, but not quite. Le leather sandals for people to wear whilst they're working, presumably so that they don't track mud around inside the, whatever this place is. Uh, and, yes, uh, you notice that there are two doors, one of which is ajar. Uh, and That's through the idea. ajar door, you can see that there is a uh, a man in chainmail who is leaning up against the wall, uh, and seems to sort of he seems to be distracted by just sort of something that he's got in his hand. You can't really tell what it is that he's got in his hand. I guess a sort of, uh, sort of like I'll I'll point out at this point that you ha uh, m even though I've deleted the vision blocker, you haven't sort of like pushed the doors wide open. You're still just sort of peering through. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna be like, look, we don't want anyone to see us for too long. If we if we want to take someone out, we should do it very, very quickly. Yeah. I mean, is there any way I could like stealth up to him, Rob? Uh, well, you'd have to roll some dice. Yeah. Also, all like... you have is a crossbow. What you get up in his face for? <laughs> Does anyone have a knife? We have a Shadow Reef class. We have two. <laughs> okay, we're not using that. Uh, no, we you have... don't have that. Yeah. I have a dagger. Look. Okay, that works. Look. I'll give you one of my daggers. We have two people who can attack from a distance. Why are we trying to get close when two of you are really squishy? A crossbow bolt might not necessarily kill him, but a, not, a cutthroat will. And silently. Also, you can win. It's more risky to get close. A knife does offer less chance to scream. Let's just get inside first, and we'll see how close we can get. Wait, Rob, okay. Yeah, I have Misty Step, right? You do. Mm. How Misty far? Step is 30 feet. Okay. This is also a bonus action. Because if I move to, like, here... Or, wait, where is 30 feet? Uh... Like here. That would get me close. You'd have to be like here. Wouldn't you best walk the distance and then TP next to him? Yeah. Walk, walk yeah, that's what she's help. doing. Oh, I see. I'm trying to measure distance to see how close I can get. You should be I measuring mean... from him to 30 feet. So. You you can cut you can move as much as you want as long as you every thirty feet you move you make a stealth check basically. Okay. Well, I want to stealth to like here. Okay. And then try to misty step to like to next to him so or like behind him so I can okay. slit his throat. Cool. Okay. Give me a stealth check. <sighs> Please stealth don't fail me now. Oh, I guess I can put oh, my on, extra stealth on. Uh, yeah, I can you can yeah. trace. Yeah, you, you essentially have infinite prep time. Yeah, I need to give you something else as well. There you go. Okay. Oh. So, yeah. so... <laughs> <laughs> um, alright. I guess I'm gonna do Pass Without a Trace. Cool. And then... Cast with your plus ten. And then I'm going to walk. So, still. Nice. Yep. 34. 34. I don't think he can beat okay. that, except unless he rolls a natural 20. Literally a 1 in 20. And then I would like to misty step to here, like right behind him. Okay, you will be sort of like standing like right on top of a crate if you do that, but sure. Oh, uh, well, maybe next to him then, I guess? Yeah, you could stand in the doorway and do it. Oh, I was thinking like here. That would be that. That would be like the, he's facing oh, that I way. Oh, I see. Okay, yeah. So then, yeah. Okay. Okay. 
Cool. Uh, where is Misty Step? Um, if the rest of you want to follow Arya, now would be the time to sort of do it in this. Yeah. Yeah. I guess I'm waiting for a takedown or to see the takedown go wrong. Okay. <laughs> yeah, V, you sort of stealth in as well. Done. And then once I'm next to him, I would like to slit his throat, please. Okay. Uh, yeah, g give me give me a melee attack with the dagger with advantage. Oh, oh, oh. shit. 290. Don't even, don't even need it. I don't need it. Roll me some damage. Oh, sorry. I'm just sitting here reveling in my victory. <laughs> oh, minimum, minimum damage. Uh, yeah, you um, you blink towards him and you sort of uh, you s like go to make a make a swiping motion at his throat, and it sort of it uh you why you would get I make a swiping motion? Surely I would hold him around the head and then cut it. Well, okay. You you grab it. You try to grab him slice with the knife you get a good solid uh motion across his neck he is still alive for a brief second though Fuck. you didn't quite can kill I, him in one I, hit can i magic myself up uh give me an initiative first because i'm going to say the initiative phase starts before that okay happens oh, let me uh, clear the it's pretty good <laughs> i probably should have selected my token uh you should have yeah <laughs> sure. I'll, I'll i'll add you in hey Wow. My initiative is so bad right now. I know, right? Uh, yeah. I actually rolled higher than V, but I'm on a minus one. Uh, I'm you a didn't slice your token either, for fuck's sake. I sure, I'm sure <laughs> I fucking did. I'm pretty sure I fucking did. He's not that kind of bandit, he is a different kind of bandit. <laughs> Me, not that kind of bandit! <laughs> not all bandits. That was not terrible. all bandits. Uh, <laughs> all the single uh, bandits. Cool. Wow. Uh, yeah. So, V, you can react. That is gonna make noise, I believe, isn't it? Uh, I guess because I say I have to say that I like I have to speak for a. Uh, yeah, you have to missile. speak for magic missile. I'm just. Do you want to silence it with your ability or? No. I only have one sorcery okay. point left, so I better make uh, it count. Then make me a stealth check. Okay. Do not fuck this up. Still a twenty because I'm. I think I'm close enough to Arya. Am um, I? Or am I not? I might not be. I think you are. Yeah, you are just about. Oh thank God. <laughs> okay. Uh yeah. Oh yeah. He, you, sort of, you you slice him across the neck and he sort of he staggers away like sort of uh, dripping blood before three magic missiles sort of like hit him in the stomach and he crumples thank without God. making a sound. Okay. Good start. Okay. Uh, yeah, next to you is a heavy metal door. Did he have any weapons on him that maybe Arya could use? Uh, that is a good question. Yeah, I would like to search him for this. Uh, yeah. Or even our companion. He has a longsword. Oh, sweet. Yeah, I'll take that. Cool. You take his longsword. He wants your dagger back, V. I think you need it more than I do, anywho. Still. Yeah. But... I'll get there in here. Right now, there is an important yeah. question. Don't forget your doggo. Yeah. Did oh, yeah. we hear any of the commotion? Yup. There was no, no sound. Silent. No, we, okay. we did it very silently. Yeah. That, that was, was the entire was point. Done. Yeah. But that's no. what we're afraid of. <laughs> <laughs> um, can there's I? Also a, there's also a door to the right here, you know? Yeah. Well, I want to poke around in these barrels and see if I can find anything useful, I think, maybe. I think we have other priorities at the moment. I know, but if there's something useful. Uh, you can take a cursory look very, very quickly. Okay. Um. Uh, basically, uh, a lot of them seem to sort of have um, uh, sort of uh, like uh, op not not meat offcuts, but things like um, 
uh, the non-perishables that you save from butchery, like bone bits, um, uh, I don't know what else you save that's non-perishable from butchery, but it, it, can, it, it contains, like, some of them have bones in, some of them have got, like, butchery tools in them, um, some of them seem to have sort of, like, um, uh, uh, what's this, what's this stuff called? Uh... Is it quick climb? Yes. The, the stuff you use to basically dispose of waste uh, material, waste body, mm. waste biological material. I think it's quick climb. Yeah, quick climb is nasty stuff. Yeah. But yeah, it, it's stuff like butchery tools, quick climb, there's some, some uh, uh, non perishables for shipping and presumably selling to uh, make money. Shipping and receiving? What? <laughs> we should open that door. Which door? The one you're stuck next to. There's a heavy metal door, and it's um, with a brief sort of like analysis, you determine that it's very cold. That door. So presumably, what on the other side is presumably very cold, possibly some sort of meat locker. Also, what I'm saying is, there's a guy outside guarding it. It's got to be important. Hey, get hey, that, Ferris. That, real quick that question. What, can we figure out from the inside which way the door opens? Uh, it opens inwards, yes. Um, no, but like, if it opens, would it be blocking my my line of sight or Grimm's? Uh, it would it would open towards Grimm, basically. Okay. okay. Grimm, do you want to switch sides and do you want me to just stand in front of the door to grab the person that comes in? <laughs> because I realize that you sitting standing on the thing would just mean you wouldn't be able to see what the fuck's going on. Uh, yes. Yeah, you could probably have done that. Well, Okay. Beforehand. Well, basically, basically, we. Well, what I was thinking, we could, I could just slam the door into any follow-up. Yeah, true. Instead, mm, it's up to but, you. Yeah. Like, yes, as whatever your strategy is, it was just determined beforehand. Yeah. I'm um, we need all the advantage we can get. Although, I guess. Okay. Uh, <laughs> so I would like to very carefully. Yeah, start oh, yeah. To get that open. open. The door. Okay. Get it. Get it open, are you? Quickly. Like Clarice and Grim, you hear you hear the scraping of the bolts, and then the door begins to slowly open. And I'm gonna stop when there's like maybe like an inch, and sort of yeah. peer in. You peer in. It... Give me a perception check. Okay. Will that be enough? Clarice, give me a stealth check. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. We don't know it's them. Oh no. Okay. Yes. Oh yes. You notice Double. there's a dragonborn lying in ambush. <laughs> can I say Chloris? <laughs> you you certainly can. Chloris, it's me! Are you? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'm so glad that I'm so glad that I didn't roll all that stuff. <laughs> Just want to point this we, out. We have that door open then. Oh, oh god. Open. Right, no time for pleasantries, I'm afraid. Mm. Uh, Grim, yeah, Grim is Arya. Him. I'm gonna probably I'm tell good. him that so she he's gonna try to slam the door in her face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, please I mean, don't do that. I mean, he heard, a, he heard a woman's voice say Kalaris. Yeah. I'm gonna oh. gracefully get off of the butcher's bench thing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, I guess I'll get off too. Uh, well, holy God. shit! Right, Good to see you guys. Oh, All right, unfortunately, <laughs> sorry, um, oh, Gaia. <laughs> unfortunately, we're gonna have to improvise some uh, some weapons for you. Hey. Yes, that will so be you, might want, you might want to stay back initially. That'd be nice. Just let's right. just get the fuck because out. All we have. Oh well, yeah, let's. Yeah, yeah, we're yeah. let's get out. I assume there's no other weapons on the guy. No. No, it's just a long sword. Yeah. No. Can I like okay. drag the body behind some of these barrels? By the way, sure. I mean, it's, they're well, clearly no, gonna see he's not there, but put it in the whatever. meat locker and lock it. Yeah. Oh, that's a good idea. Okay, yeah, yeah. I'll do that. Sure. Yeah, put the meat where it belongs. This this will totally not wow, not make them suspicious when they eventually no, find it. It's better than leaving a fucking guy out here, okay? It'll take them a little bit longer to realize potentially. Look. Shut up, Rob. <laughs> We're doing this. <laughs> All right. Not like they're not gonna know that someone's gone anyway. Yeah, that too. Look, it's fine. Let's get the fuck out of here. No. Yep. I... Yeah. Somebody. Go people will be coming back. Yeah, to... 
Let's yeah, let's out. go back to the tavern, get our stuff, and get out. <laughs> yeah, leave town. We can't just not... We're not going to okay. abandon the town. We're going to regroup okay. outside yeah. of the town. We're not going to abandon the town. It's just the town is no longer a suitable base of operations. Yeah, and I'm worried they're going to find our room in the tavern, and that will be bad shit. We need to camp and I don't want to endanger the tavern owner. Yeah. yeah. Oh, come on, okay. let's go. Yeah. Fine. Right. Cool, and give me stealth out. checks. Oh, oh yeah. Everyone oh, stay within shit. 30 feet of me. Yeah. So you need to stand in the middle of I'm everyone. Good. At least I don't have disadvantage anymore. Yeah. Well, okay. No. <laughs> it's okay. We have plus 10. We have plus 10. Yeah. It's not that's that. 14 and 16, not 4 and 10. Oh! <laughs> okay. Shit! <laughs> it doesn't matter. Hold on, I'm just gonna... Just, just, just to prove that I'm not bullshitting this, I'm gonna also, tweet this. Also, there's a thing blocking my vision. It's gonna be like a double natural twenty or something. Yeah, Shit. it's gonna be some. Well, it's a, a it's a physical die, so. Oh. There's <laughs> a thing a like blocking my vision. I can't see into the room. <laughs> this, it's okay. This tile. It, there's yeah. nothing in this room. The door is technically still okay. ajar, I guess. Oh yeah, it is. Whoops, my mistake. Okay. Yeah. Um. Oh wow, it's really hard to take this photo without obscuring the light. Oh. Wow. Yeah, yeah, fuck it. The, I, I can't take a good photo of this. It's a 20. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, I got it. Cool shit. Yeah, I figured. I'm uh, so yeah, you get you get 30 feet of movement. Or 25 in Grimm's case. <laughs> okay. So I guess I'm, going to feel, moves, I guess I'm already where I want to be. Yeah, you've already moved. So I move. Oh, oh, sorry. I have to move Lyra separately. This door um, is like she's stuck oh wall yeah now. yeah yeah that I will I will delete that door so it stops giving you grief about I'm movement. Just, what yeah. can you move, Lyra? Because she's stuck wall. too. Stand <laughs> next to me. <laughs> Probably should have healed me and Grim more, but oh well. Uh, can I close the door behind me? Uh yeah okay as you as you close the door behind you, uh. You basically you hear from the other room uh, the sounds of somebody walking closer towards the door, and you hear the words "Hang on, I need a piss," and oh, the yeah, door yeah. opens. Um, <laughs> There's a ghost. Uh, <laughs> can't see hold on, I haven't. I need to put them back to the uh, the token layer. Oh. oh my god! There's a lot of people. As in room. A person oh, opens the door, on. and then he's like. Hang on. <laughs> and I need everyone to roll initiative. Hey. Oh, we're gonna be so fucked. Oh, God. Trailed by a man who needed a piss. So, do you remember a long time ago, I gave some advice on what to do in a situation where you think you might need to be, like, come back again later? This may be one of those times. What? what? Run. He's saying run. Oh, right. Oh, oh yeah, well, I, that's not... I'm pretty that, sure that's what uh, we're going to do. Yeah, I was gonna run. Uh, uh, also, can you change oh. my initiative to 22, please? Thanks, bye. Yeah, certainly. <laughs> Thanks, bye. Thanks, bye. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, Actually, we I... all rolled higher than them. I, Thank God for I that. Didn't. Except oh. who matched. Meh. Yeah, yeah oh, I, no. got, I got lower. Shit. Okay. Uh, Alright, just pick up well, I got lower than one of them. I got lower than one and matched another. Run. Run. <laughs> pick up on all and run. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> That's what we need to do all the time, whenever the little ones roll. <laughs> the little ones. <laughs> the little ones. <laughs> the little ones. <laughs> That's probably Also, racist. I'll have you know, I have boots that make me run as fast as you guys, so fuck off. I know, I gave them to you. <laughs> I know, and it was greatly appreciated. <laughs> right. I can't believe. Oh yeah, Just react. in fact make up for the fact that you nearly got me strangled, suffocated by a carpet. Go, Arya. You can do it. Okay, question mark. Uh, when I misty step, I can't take anyone with me, right? You cannot, nope. no. Nope. <laughs> we said a long time. teleport scroll that I have. Yeah, but you can't cast that now. Could you? But I probably won't. It's unnecessary. Well, I guess me and Lyra are just gonna fucking bolt, because bye. You could you could uh, f discharge your crossbow as you make your okay, way out. Yeah. I'll do Might that. help your teammates. Um, how how do I? Uh, g 
give me uh it's the same attack roll as your bow, but it's just slightly different damage dice. Yeah. Okay. Uh, that's a hit. Uh and it one will damage. uh give me just a second. It is one one D eight. Uh one D eight plus uh your Dex. Dex. So that is plus three. Nice. Okay, yeah, uh, you shoot the dude for 7 damage. Uh, the crossbow bolt basically like embeds itself in his... Uh, probably in his shoulder, or in, like upper torso, uh, and he reels backwards. Uh, v. Uh, I'm also going to run, probably. Yep. Like, air, I guess, whilst casting magic missile! Okay. Bye! <laughs> Bye, bitch! <laughs> cool. Uh, yeah, you... That's a pretty shit roll. You knock him backwards off his feet, and, uh... Yeah. He, on, guys, he, he, he doesn't move. He doesn't need to piss anymore. <laughs> no. Bladder has been emptied. <laughs> Forcefully. Via death. How fun. Actually, for relaxation, but that's fine as well. Uh, Grim? Um, I'm gonna hang on to my bone. God damn it. <laughs> and one, two, three, four, five. And I guess I'll, I might as well just use my action to run more. Yeah, you could probably dash. Uh, can I get past? Yeah, yeah, you can just slip past. Yeah, you can, you can move through allies as long as they're not engaged in combat with no penalty. Uh... Yeah. That's pretty um, much it. The sound of scraping chairs and the grabbing of weapons occurs from the next room. Duh. Shit. Uh, Clarus. Um, I'm a bullshit. Oh, Excuse me, I'm gonna run the fuck out of the building. <laughs> oh, but what? Mm. God, I really don't want to leave one doll. Um, I have legs. I know. <laughs> oh wait, no, you can run the. Sorry, you can run the same yeah, speed. Yeah, so I can run fine. the same speed as you. Sorry, I spazzed on that for a second. Um, I also run thirty feet. Shh, it's fine. Magic I'm there. Magic boots. Magic boots, and I as I completely miss my token. And, yeah, he um, just he just bugs bunnies out of there, just like <laughs> running. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, I, did whole, my, 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 I did the whole spinny legs things. Yeah. My legs don't grip initially and then it's just boom, gone. Uh, two, four, five, six. Uh, one, well doll. Right. As I'm running, I'm also going to cast a spell. Uh huh. But first, I'm going to move. <laughs> yeah, just, I guess, to the doorway. And can I have a spiritual weapon, please? Oh my god. Sure. I'm just gonna slice the guy in the doorway. Holy shit. Um, seeing as I'm gonna move you off this in just a second anyway, uh, just draw me the damage of it. Yeah. Oh, does that hit? Uh, that does, yeah. I'm going with the third level one, because cool. I wanna cause mayhem. Oh. Cool. It smashes him in the face for seven damage. Nice. Uh, and he roars. Um, Fuck and nice. yeah, the rest of them are gonna just sort of... Oh, hang on a minute. It's only rolled... It's supposed to be 2d8, because I've done... Oh no, two two slot levels above the second. Okay. Well... Mm. I fucked up. I'm, I'm trying to do the higher level. Um, thing. Well, yeah, and, bas and basically with the distraction that the spiritual weapon causes, I'm assuming the rest you got is just sprint for the rest of your turns. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. In which case, uh, give me, give me either athletics check to outrun them or stealth checks to hide from them. Well, I know what oh. I'm going with. Yeah. Same. Uh, I'm running. Oh, V. Oh wait, are you with the thirty feet? Yes. Are you? Oh no! Rip. No. Rip the reward. Okay. Uh, in that case, um, 
Von Dahl, so you're, you're, you're in your, your armor and you were kind of not prepared for the running away and uh, Grim and Clarice very quickly outstrip you. Uh, v and Arya uh, disappear off down an alley and are not seen again. Um, <laughs> I bet. Oh god! You stumble and I... I'm going to... Does the distraction of the spiritual weapon count for nothing now? Uh, the distraction of the spiritual weapon is still giving you an advantage, but they're firing weapons at long range at you. Oh, okay. Actually, they're not probably not firing. Are they? Wait, hold on. What is the long range on that? 80, f 80 feet is regular range, so actually it's probably within regular range. Right. And those guys... Nope, not At least I have armor in my shield. Are, those guys are also 80 feet. So. For once. I mean, are you holding your shield up? Duh. Are you stumbling? Probably not. Instinct. <laughs> Talk and roll with the shield. Oh wait, uh, one of those <laughs> yeah. shouldn't count. Shit. Um, I need you to take mm -hmm. twenty-two piercing damage. Rip. Ooh. Ah, shit. I'm fine too. Are you health. still okay? I mean, you're he was right. still at max health because he hadn't. Yeah, because yeah, I hadn't fight. done anything stupid. Um, Look here. Give give me give me another here. athletics. Okay. Oh my. Oh is kind my of word. Good, okay. So. Oh my fucking god. My athletics is kind oh, of no. good. Aya and V, you notice that Vondal is has just been shot and is basically struggling to get away from your hiding place. It looks like they're gonna catch up with him if something isn't done. All right. Okay. <laughs> Would I be able- okay. No, fuck it. I'm gonna- at Wait, this point- <laughs> At this point- uh, How far away are they? Well, but... what are you trying to do? Because you've basically already had your movement and your action for this turn. Uh, how, um... how- can I see them? Uh, you could if you leaned around the corner from where you're hiding, but it would involve breaking your hiding place. Oh shit, didn't mean to do that. Uh, can I Mexican cast sleep at third level? Sure. Oh, bit. Last them. third level spell slot, so they work. It's a pretty shit roll. Okay. Oh, mm -hmm. Um, with it, you notice uh two of the crossbow wielding dudes basically drop to the floor. Actually, no, hold on. Does it in fact affect Von Dahl? I'm 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 yeah, far away has, from them. He should oh, he okay. should have enough health as well. So yeah. Uh, you, no, it 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 doesn't it doesn't affect Vondal because they are eighty feet away from him. Oh, right. that's that's also a thing. That just um, <clears throat> well, they're a bit less than eighty feet, but um, and I and I subtle spell as well. By the way. So, oh, you're gonna subtle spell it. Make me a stealth check. Uh, you're what? also what? within thirty feet of me. Stealth check if I'm subtle spelling it. Because you're. Still, like, uh, you're leaning around the corner and subtle spelling, and I want to see if you can hide from them whilst they uh, look around to see why some of their friends just fell over. Yeah, cool. I can! <laughs> yes, Damn, you can. Yeah. Cool. Can she hide? Oh, I don't know. So, basically, two guys drop, drop down straight in the middle of the courtyard. One of the, uh, one of the barbarians basically yells, Sniper! and jumps behind a bunch of crates, <laughs> and they all run for cover. <laughs> Oh my god! Oh my god! That's great. That's the best outcome. Sniper. These guys are idiots. Snipers are real things, even yeah. with ice bows. I know, but are there even guns in the setting? No, but they're hit by anything. arrows. Just arrows. Would they call it a sniper though? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. It, it's the sniper is yeah. called a sniper because it works at such a long range, and it's not. It's not. It's not because of the sniper rifle. Yeah. Okay. That was named after the fact. I don't know though. Anyway, fine. You gotta cool. get good. Even if it doesn't, they yell something similar along those lines, and they run Sharp for cover, shooter. thinking that, thinking that their friends have been shot rather than put to sleep. That's stupid. Which is <clears throat> a lot. Nothing hit them. They've just fallen but, over. But they but also they don't didn't don't see that. anyone casting a spell. Yeah. Yes. I, I mean, t these are probably it like simple cool. townsfolk. And so. it's kind of dark. And you guys yeah. escape. Yay! Oh. Thank God. Holy right, and we leave town by the nearest available short wall. 
We need to no. We need to get our stuff from the yeah. Thing. Well, yeah. You head yeah. back to the to the tavern. You burst in for the second time through the door, and uh, but <laughs> like as you burst in through the door, Bortalbor says, "If you leave an dent in that, I'm gonna make you pay for it." Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. I mean, we are like wounded as fuck. I'm just literally gonna shoot him a glare because I'm done. <laughs> Jesus. Really? I'm just as we run past. I'm just saying, I pay for what I break. Don't worry. <laughs> Huh. Yeah. So suffice it to say, you've caused enough enough chaos that the towns, the the folk in the pub are just sort of like murmuring to themselves, and well, they can people look a little bit uncomfortable. Them. And some people are sort of like leaving halfway through their drinks, expecting that something is about to go down. They're <laughs> right, but they're not completely um, wrong. But you, yeah, you you grab your stuff and you leave. Mm. Thank God. Sweet. Yeah. And right, let's find us somewhere to camp out. You guys are outside down. <laughs> <laughs> right, somewhere safe to camp out. Mm. Yeah, can I like use my ranger senses to find? Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll say that like you know from the forest clearing where you went earlier to to resurrect Lyra, you know that that you could that. You could find a place fairly easily out of sight of the town. Okay. Uh, yeah. You guys basically, I, I'm, I'm not going to make you roll for like sort of setting up camp, but you sort of you set up a camp, uh, out of the way where you can sort of hide it amongst the trees. Okay, well, uh, once we're all set up, I'm just going to go. <sighs> right now, what? Well, the moment we need to rest. So we talk in the morning. Probably, because I'm like somewhat very injured still. Yeah, I mean, like with, well. with all the running and the the athletics you've done, the the ribs you broke previously that were only briefly mended by magic are really starting to ache. Yeah, I figured. So. Yeah. Very well. Sleep first, talk later. Cool. So, who's gonna be carrying the rave shard? Oh, fuck me. Yeah. Not I'll me. Hold it. I'll take it. <laughs> I'll hold Not it. tonight. Okay, me and Claris. There we go. Yeah, I'll I hold should it. probably give to Fondo and and V there. Oh, well, actually, well, me, me and Claris are holding it. Which of us is actually holding it? I'll hold it. Okay, there we go. Wiz saves, yeah? Uh, yeah, Vondal needs the crossbow bolts picking out of his back. <laughs> yeah, I just sit there while one of you guys does it, because I can't reach. I'm too wide. Oh, yeah. Cool. I'll help him pick out crossbow bolts out of his back. <laughs> Before we sleep. What do they mean? Do they mean you get a bad dream, bitch? Book! <laughs> I don't know, let's find out. Ferris. Yeah. Well, you guys go to sleep, as usual. Presumably you're keeping a weather eye out, are you? Yeah. I mean, I'm always awake, so... Yeah, give me some perception checks. Well, you're semi-conscious. Oh, give me give me a perception check to start with. Oops. Who's Sorry. Blair? I don't know. <laughs> some weirdo, That's probably. That's a good question. Amazing. Yeah, probably. Probably just spends all their time making gifts on the internet. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> Anyway. I mean, the funny thing is I'm actually making gifts literally at this moment. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> That's kind of amazing. Three yeah. guesses who they're of. Uh, hat films? Yup. <laughs> Look, let's keep anyway. playing D&D, &D, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. You guys... You guys settle down for the evening, and so sort of you sleep very heavily because of the the nature of your ordeal. Um, nobody, in fact, and it has any bad dreams. Oh, yeah. And okay. the night is relatively undisturbed, considering what Lovely. has happened. You, uh, as you are sort of keeping watch, Aya, uh, you hear some, what could be yelling from the town in the distance, but like it, it stops after maybe an hour. 
and then the town basically falls silent and you guys rest. So, you may restore yourselves. I'm so happy. <laughs> I can't believe we made it out. And there. nobody is dead, miraculously. Yeah. Right. When, as soon as Vondor wakes up, can he start writing a letter? Sure. <laughs> Another letter. Another I letter. I don't know if this is the time. This is an urgent. It's urgent. It's an urgent message to his superiors. Oh, is he requesting to back up or something? Pretty much. Probably that's, a good that, plan. That's for him to know. <laughs> It's for me to know and you to find out. As far as you know, Vondal's writing a letter. Goddamn Vondal, though. Would you like a... I would a, love a letter. A handout. I would love a handout. Hang on, I'll rename Vondal's letter. No, hold on, hold on. Letter, I've, I've got another one for you. <laughs> no, I've just renamed it to Vondal's letter, Mother. So oh, that one, yeah, sure. Too. Um. Yeah, you have... Uh... You have another thing yeah. called letter. Ah, so I do. Oh, I've, I've, I managed to duplicate it some. Good job. Oh, no I didn't. I just deleted it. Cool. That was a bug, nope, obviously. Rip. Why would you do this? Uh, because it bugged. Oh, I'll have to do that again then. There you go. Thank you. Cool. Yeah, the the you wake in solemn silence, I guess. <laughs> Anything that can be heard is the scratching of Von Dahl's pen. I mean, I think we need to acknowledge that we're in way over our heads here. <laughs> Can we all just agree on that? Do you say that in character? Yeah. Uh, but I was just gonna go, why do you think I'm writing this? What is that letter? I'm sending a letter to the Order, requesting assistance. Ah. Probably a good shout. Whether we're here or not for the assistance, uh, I'm not sure. Uh, it might take oh. a while. The thing is, we kind of have to find this dragon guy. We can't just leave the town here. I, I get the need for assistance, but... I'm not saying we have to leave, but regardless. I think asking if for help... If we do decide yeah. to stay, oh, if I, we do I decide to stay, I don't think this, this, this aid will take a while. Which is a point, how long approximately will it take? So I'm assuming I know roughly where they'll be coming from. So I have an idea of roughly um... how long it'll take them to get here. Oh. Pro probably in the it's... region of weeks, and that's after your letter gets there, because I don't yeah. really know how you're going to send that letter. <laughs> exactly. In the, your current circumstances. Yeah, so I'm just going to go, first of all, I need somewhere to send this from, and second of all, it'll be quite a few weeks. Well, so meanwhile, if we let's... do stay, it'll be a long time to evade, evade the group. Yeah, I feel unfortunate that we may have only made things worse, and I think that we are now too known to be of any assistance. Well, that might not entirely be true. We, because remember the lumberjack. He, he said he met the, the half dragon, or at least saw the half dragon, outside the the town. Perhaps if we can figure out their potential meeting location, we we have a shot. What you suggest we just hide out in the woods and patrol? Uh, I was more thinking along the lines of well, the the lumberjack mentioned they mark trees, right? So let's figure uh, he out did, where. Yeah. So let's figure out where the trees are that they are marking, and well, and look in that area, like well, for that, any potential. That, 
And that'll just tell you where the lumberjacks are cutting. Yeah. That is true. I, I mean, guess we would have to look for tree stumps. Do we even think we can take the dra the half dragon? Mm. I mean... Look, last time we got in a bad situation. Because we didn't have any weapons. And all was still at the tavern. Maybe we just need to get go about this a little bit smarter. I mean, this time at least we'll have our weapons with us. If we try anything. I'm just worried this dragon is going to be way harder than we're we prepared for. We can't just leave them, leave this person here, though. We can't let them continue to do what they're doing. Another place we could... Actually, wait. Yeah, another place we could try to check out is the magic shop in town, maybe. No, yeah. we can't go back there. Because um, well, fucking Temerity. She, she doesn't, doesn't know that. Yeah. Oh, right. I do know that I saw Temerity with the guy who was... Um... Uh, yes, but you're not aware of the association yet. Yeah. yeah. Temerity oh. was one of the people in the room where Grim and I got called up to, and she's the one that basically had us sent to where you found us. She she owns the, the fights. Yeah. The, the underground fighting so um, if we ever visit we're probably not going to be paying for our merchandise Let's no but i'm saying we could out. find clues Eek. she knows who all of us are though i like i as much well, as whatever we're doing just... it's probably not going to be out in the open anyway we're always going to have to stealth our way because they know what we look like yeah well, it depends on the, if what we're doing is inside or outside of the town. Well, we need to do something. I agree, but I'm, I'm not sure what the best plan of action is. Well, I I have an idea. You, you know how when we try to enter the town that they try to, well, make us pay an entry fee? Yeah. What if we can find another one of those groups and capture one of them? Captured uh, the leader. What, what good would that do, though? Well, it, I guess so at we least just we... have a bunch of prisoners. Well, I get we. I guess we could just try and question him or her or whatever. I don't think they're going to tell us anything we don't know. We know where yeah, the warehouse is. It's we just... know where the warehouse is. We know well, sort of who's in charge now. We know nothing about the kidnapping shit. They almost certainly I'm... have other bases of operations as well. Yeah. Um, that was probably I... just one place. And I mean, the main thing I want to figure out is... The main thing I want to know is, do they have any bases outside of the town? Because that would be a nice place to focus on for now. GM think... voice for a second. Just, you guys... You guys may not have sort of put it all together yet, but you got a lot of information last night. And perhaps mm -hmm. going over what you know now that you didn't know previously may help. Let's see. What did we learn? Well, let's, well we what learned did we know? Okay. Well, is, well, yeah. well, hang on. Let's have a think. Let's, let's try and separate it. What did we know before we went into the pit fighting arena? There's people going missing. There's a gang involved. There's a half. There's a half there's dragon a half involved. Half dragon involved. They have a, mm. have a good hold. Of the, the city guard clearly have, have, are clearly powerless. They're clearly bigger and more powerful than we initially assumed, considering all of the guards we saw in the locker. That's not what we learned before the 
It didn't already say to. anything to you guys. Anything else? Mm. She seemed to think that we were being sent here by someone to deal with the Five Talon gang. Yeah. That's one thing. But... And because she thought that, she just wanted to put you in the meat locker. Well, we wouldn't she didn't get the answers that she wanted from us and she said that they were going to send i believe their boss is yeah. the is the term that is what she said and that whoever that was was going to come and quote unquote speak with us well and then also, there's, there's this... a place called the asylum yeah which we don't know where or what it is but it doesn't sound good well apparently it's a place where after you've been there you don't talk yeah that sounds if what you the... even make it out, that's that might also have been what they what were suggesting. If... What if the asylum is? Because the people who are what? kidnapped get get How turned did... into cultists. So maybe yeah. that's the place where people turn into cultists and get sent to the capital. How did we? How did it take so long to realize? This is what I, okay, out of character. This is what I was trying for you to get at, because I was just like, and what did Temerity say to you? Maybe she had something about an asylum. <laughs> I was trying. <laughs> to <say it> so, <laughs> mm. so it looks like the asylum. Maybe we need to figure out where that is. I mean, well, it's possible it could be another warehouse, but I highly doubt that. Well, why wouldn't they? It's not like anybody's gonna like, go snooping around. That's true. I think it would probably be in a safer location, though. Oh, I, I do. It might be true that. Yeah. They, they probably want to keep the asylum kind of secret. Mm hmm. I don't think they just have it in the middle of the district. Wait. Could. I was thinking, it, it couldn't... The mayor is still around, isn't he? They wouldn't just have taken over his... Well, home for this. Yeah, island. I mean, he's like a shadow mayor. As far yeah. as you know, he's still... So. It's not like he actually does anything. That would be yeah. useful. Hmm. Do we reckon the last thing? Do we reckon the half dragon is in with the five talon or the cult? Both. Well, <laughs> yeah, they, both. they're obviously collaborating. So, mm. if the five talon isn't just like he's probably, I, I, a cover, I, he's probably a mem he's probably a member of the cult manipulating the gang. I mean, it I... sounds like they're using the gang to get people to turn into cultists, right? Mm -hmm. Right. So this is basically just him, yeah, using this cult to farm bodies, essentially. Hmm. Well, I still think that if Merdy knew about the asylum, going to the magic shop would be the best place, stealthily, to try and find information about that. Because I don't think a lot of That's people know risky about it. That's hell. Because we're walking straight into the den. Of evil, as it were. Out of character, who was the cult to again? I can't remember. Say uh, what? Ferris Dune. Ferris Dune, yeah. The Goo Goo people. <laughs> yep. Mm. Oh, apparently Ferris Dune autocorrects to Catherine. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we got his real name! <laughs> That is, that is one of Thoros Dune's many names. <laughs> many, many names he has, including... The, the mad family. voice in the dark, Catherine. <laughs> That's Catherine. the most terrifying Catherine. evil name. Mighty Catherine. Okay, okay, um, we get it. <laughs> moving on. Okay, well... Oh, how... How many eggs... I don't know, I guess there's only, like, the low wall around town. Hmm. So how, are you asking how can... many ways you can get into town? If so, uh, almost Maybe. infinite. Yeah, that was yeah. what I realized. It was like, oh, there's the. Because I was like, if we can, if there's only a few exits, we could perhaps like stake it out for a day and then like see if 
any anyone leaves in a weird direction. With infinite possibilities, it's kind of hard to cover everything. I'm just saying, if we want to, if we still want to work on this on this thing, which I do, I don't want to let this go. Probably need to head into town at some point anyway. Well, I guess we we have to have to go in there at, at some point. The question is, just how are we gonna deal with anyone we meet? My concern is that because we are now all known, that maybe this is a situation, a problem that is out of our capability to deal with. I don't want that happening again. Like we don't have an army, so it's not going to be a huge, huge standoff. I mean, I think. Which I makes think it worse because they will. He is correct that we need to go to the magic shop. But I'm also terrified that we're going to get captured because Again. that's literally Temerity's den. Yeah, that sounds... That sounds... To be honest, <laughs> that's stupider than actually going to the pit fight in the first place. Well, what do you know of Temerity's intentions? I mean, she seemed not to give a fuck about life. I mean, more... more recent. That's... Hmm. And until you fucked everything up, what was her plan? <laughs> what I'm saying. Did we even know? Well, it involved you. Um. She wanted what? you guys to have a meeting the with you Half Dragon. Yeah. The thing is, like, well, they're probably gonna meet. But we, I don't really think it's gonna be great. Oh, wait a minute. What if the other person they met outside town was Temerity? Huh? What? The... Um, remember the lumberjacks told that there was a meeting? They were two men. Oh, they were both men. Yeah. I mean, it could have been. Uh, well, well, we don't know. Hmm. Mm. Hmm. Well, or I guess if they're gonna meet him, her place might be empty. Yeah, but we don't know when she's gonna meet with him. Yeah. It yeah. almost certainly would have happened by now. And it's morning. To talk with them I mean, yeah, it is like first thing in the morning. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's probably still what happened. If they've been left, well, that was not necessarily shown up the same Communication night. Communication isn't as fast in D and D as this as sending a text. <laughs> I'm aware, but assuming that the, I mean, the... we don't know where he was beforehand, so. Also, so now that yeah, presum no presumably now that you guys have escaped, it's not gonna they're going to have something to. Well, they're going to have something more to talk about. Yeah. Mm. So they're they'll still have their meeting, I think. Yeah. It's not because originally he was going to be brought not... to see us, wasn't it? Yes. Yeah. That's what it sounded like. So. I, I say we try to just... check out our magic shop as soon as possible. I don't think any of this is a good idea. I mean, we don't Do have. Do you ever think options. anything is a good idea? <laughs> I don't think anything is. I feel like I don't think like this is out of our hands. Turning tail and walking away, but I don't want to do that. No, we no. Yeah, that's Look. pretty much the best option we have right now. Look, I don't. This is, this has just become, even harder for us. They know us. They're gonna see us in the streets. They're gonna. We're not exactly going to be easy to hide. This is... This is out of our hands. Maybe this How is the time to stop hiding. Point... How about instead of pointing out the same problem over and over, let's try and figure out a solution for that problem. 
I mean, potentially we could get V to disguise herself again as someone else. Yeah. I only have two sets of clothes. <laughs> we can figure something out. We'll figure something out. I mean, okay. that's like There's, what is what are the rules on alter self? If you can just turn into if you just turn into another, yeah, could, just change mode. skin color. You could, in theory. Wow. In theory, if it changes your humanoid form into another humanoid form, you could borrow someone else's clothes and disguise as one of us. Or well, not one of us, what? but a race of us. <laughs> in ours. one of our clothing. Right. Yeah, like, yeah. D disguise as a human, but wear Aya's clothes or something. Yeah, that's what I was kind of thinking. Yeah. Or, like, maybe even something not as... some outfits. Yeah, like, I was going to say, Aya's clothing out. might be a bit standout, but... Also, well, that like, means I would sorry. have to no, wear V's clothing, right. and that would be hilarious. Oh, God. <laughs> Point is, that's, but... not, it's not, that's not... Those aren't the only sets of clothes we have. Yeah, yeah. so I, I'm, I'm thinking that maybe we send her in... Maybe even me doing a stealth, like, with her. Look, I appreciate that, but perhaps it's best to not split up anymore for now. Well, yeah, but um, what else are we supposed to do? We can't exactly yeah. block Kalaris in, she's kind of noticeable. You're the only one who- this is, the, this, is the, this is my problem. Every, every plan we have to go back in is too risky. I don't- I don't want to lose any of you. That- last night was- too close. Mm. If I can get this letter off, there's a chance that there are others who can help. Yeah, but how long will it take them to get here? It might be weeks. It will be weeks. We like, can't we'll... wait that long. Yeah, we can't afford to wait. We, we, we can barely afford, a, like, a couple of days, let alone weeks. What do you mean? Maybe we can afford to wait, but the people inside there can. You have oh, stood up for really the I mean, we, can we? Because your mother is kind of like fucked right now. We're, we're... She's not getting any sicker. It's. Yeah, but the like the guy's still spreading stuff. Yeah, presumably. I'm more worried about the larger implications of whatever the dude is doing. So. So we really don't have weeks either to just like sit around and. Yeah. Should we go uh, then, Arya? How? I think. Uh, well, let's let's just take a moment and think through all of the variables here. Let's okay. What were the reasons we came here? We came here for the Ferris Dune cult connections, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, which we have since found. We've Definitely found. Well, connection. We've confirmed it. However, that was the only reason we came here, right? Pretty I much. Mean, it's yeah. on the way to Rourke's Gate as well. What if, like, we we wanted to go, yeah, what, what this was going to be, like, a stop in between. What if we go on, and, because the second stop was for, I believe, one of your artifacts, Kalaris? Well, possibly, at the very least, it's information, but I don't... Because... If we could acquire that artifact, perhaps we could do, do more for these people, and by the time we get back, something may, like, some, like the town may have calmed down a bit. You know that would be six days minimum of travel. I don't think we can leave them for that long. I, I get what you're saying. But I don't... And I don't... We don't even know exactly what this artifact is going to do. And we don't... I, if there is I, even I don't, one there. Yeah, if I don't even know if it's there. Mm. And I can't... We can't leave them here just under the influence of this gang. And I, I get that we can't just rush in. But I... We need to do something before we leave. I just don't know what. It's my fear. My fear there is nothing we can do anymore. Nothing we can do. Except call for aid. No, there uh, has to be something we can something do. We, we just need do. to figure out what's the best option. I mean, I think the best option right now is sending VN 
maybe she can find something that will tell us a little bit more about what we're dealing with here. Is there anything else you can do whilst you're in town? Anybody that you trust? Anyone that you can get more information from? Um, I mean, it's possible we could talk to the tavern guy. Uh, I'm not sure if he wants to get involved. That's he wants nothing to do with the gang. He specifically said that to us. He I know, but I feel like he's the best. He would be the most. The person if he wants, if he wants nothing to do with them, he's not gonna a help us deal with them or b know anything because he's not gonna get involved. How? How about there's also the person? I think it was that other. Was it a shop? Is that what it was? Fair. Yeah, like the general. I don't remember general store. Yeah, the general. I remember the woman who went miss was Carrie. co owned. Is someone owned by someone whose co owner yeah. went missing? Like yeah. Remember that woman. Let's. Imagine, well, I, ma I imagine she's the kind of target that would end up in the asylum. Uh, asylum, right? What if we can convince her to give give us something that belongs to that woman, and perhaps we can sniff it out? That's also an option, but I don't know. This how was long months ago. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. There's no scent trail yeah. left. There won't be anything left to check her. Yeah. Hmm. But she that was a good option. Information. But... Yeah, she's a source of information, if we can convince her. Well, how much does she really know? Well, she didn't... She it's didn't possible. even know who who the money was, like, lent from. Like, who they were paying off for. Like, then it was the five talent guy. But you've got different questions to ask now. Yeah. I guess people might know about the asylum? No, they won't know anything about the asylum, I doubt, but... Who knows? But they might know about the people involved, which, even if just vaguely. Mm. But. The more time we spend arguing about this, the more time we waste. I'd rather go to the magic shop as soon as possible. Even Vee, if you think it's a bad idea. V, do you have a way to contact us or get out if something goes wrong? I have a teleport scroll. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, I can't let you do that. What is the casting time when you're teleports? Actually, uh, it's instant. It's okay. just very risky. It, yeah, because it's a seventh level spell. Yeah. 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 And v, she's v, I, currently I level three. I can't let you do that. I can't let you go. Well. Okay, Hal. And I can't leave oh. these people getting hurt and getting kidnapped. It's not. It's not an option. Though I like you, like the only option you're coming Out with is anyone sending... here. I was well, aside from you, I was the safest during this whole kerfuffle last night. I was fine, I and she'll be myself. disguised as someone else. She, even if like I get captured, she can just fake innocence. Know me. The only thing is, you better hope the half dragon isn't anywhere near. Well, I guess that, that chance would be very slim. Yeah, I, I doubt he's just going to stroll into this town. In the magic shop, I don't know. <sighs> Can you see if there's at least a back entrance to get into the magic shop? Yeah, I mean, we'll go I about it. We're going I mean, to, but... we're going to be investigating the magic shop, so, yes. Very well, but just stay safe. Believe me, that is the whole goal. <laughs> I don't fancy another situation like last night. Good. I don't want to lose any of you. Cool. Okay. And with that plan <laughs> in mind, we will take a short break. <laughs>